What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do fixed Friday. Every Friday, I do the Waiting on the on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me for today's episode. We're doing a little Master the Map of the Week on Jules Verne, Mysterious Island, playing ranked on my main account, currently ranked 129th on the world leaderboard settings for this game we're playing world domination on jules fern auto setup 60 second turns expert ai we don't have any yet ranked progressive balance blitz dice with no filtering of players alliances are on and fog and blizzards are off i am in the first position i have two contiguous positions on this board i don't love that and i'm sitting right in the big bonus which i also don't love and i'll show you why in just a sec. So, in the first position we have myself. This is the main Pete account. I'm playing a little bit of camo because I definitely don't want anyone to know who I am. Let's see, maybe the middle of the board is better. There, that looks better. Playing a little bit of camo and currently ranked 129th. In position two, we have General Fuji Mura 13690 from the United Kingdom. Playing as blue, and he takes a bonus on the first turn. In position three, we have Awesome Lizard 12803 from France, playing as purple. In position four, we have Adele Viking 20, flying the flag of Mongolia, playing as magenta. Position five, we have Hung Pei Pei, flying the flag of China, playing as black. And finally, General Trebuchet 13726 from Brazil playing as red. Now let's take a quick look at the bonuses on Jules Verne. You have Serpentine Peninsula on the bottom is plus three. Washington Bay is a four for four across the bottom. Is this guy hitting me? He's indiscriminately hitting. I think I lost a two. We have Tate Orange Fan is plus four. Western Forest plus six. Mount Franklin plus five. Lava Land plus floor. Shark Golf plus three. And a four for five in the middle. Lake Grant that I have half of from my spawn. Because I put alliances on it might make... And because players are taking bonuses, it might make sense for me to try and take this now. I don't usually go for bonuses in Progressive. I also don't love how much material black has on my board, and that's why I offered them an alliance right off the bat. And that's a weird bonus, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for four. Shark Gulf. I'm trying to figure out who wants to be friends. Yeah, black doesn't want me to take that. Okay. But he's not breaking other people's bonuses either. Looks like we're going to see blue hold this. Unless red puts in for a break now. Blue getting a plus five would make them very strong. Yeah, okay, so red wants to be here. Okay, so black keeps me off of this bonus. Purple wants this. I can take this then. That's where I'll move. I'll move to this side of the board. And I'll still be in two positions. He's going to move down and then move his forces through across the bottom. No, stays in two positions. Does red want to be friends? Interesting to play this with alliances on. I'm gonna move out of Red's bonus because I know he, I know he wants it, and we do see blue with the hold. Having some of my opponents with bonuses, as long as they break each other, is a good thing. If everyone plays good neighbor, I die. Of course, except for Black, who's already been bad neighbor to me. 
and blue slowly expanding out of their piece of the board. Purple, I think, is going to try and take this. I'm waiting to see somebody break somebody else. All right, well, everyone has stabilized in their positions. So not having a bonus is going to be bad for me. Let's see what Black does about this. Black has no good move. I'm going to put Black in a single position. Which will make them the fish. I guess I could break purple. That would keep them weak. I'm also weak though is the problem. And we know how players behave when you break them. Red finishes their bonus. And it looks like we see a lot of good neighbor here. Well, I have two 10 point positions, one in the bottom left, one in the top. Kind of the middle, I guess. Not having a bonus is fatal. I think I'm going to die. Unless someone hits somebody else. And soon. Blue hits a bunch of magenta. Purple's down to 15, but does hold their bonus, so they catch right back up to me. So now what I'm doing is I'm trying to put my opponents in single position so it's harder for them to make kills on me. And it more incentivizes people to hit each other. I want to take this probably soon. Black will be in one place. Good. Still not great for me. I come I come second last then. So conclusion is playing this with alliances on was a mistake. Okay, red appears to bot. We have a strong bot here. No, not a bot. Okay. 
who has the audacity to suggest that I do something when he is significantly stronger than me. At least these players in the lead are hitting each other. I'm going to put purple in a single position next. here. Maybe blue lets me take this piece in the middle? I wonder. That move had the dual utility of knocking out purple's uh, exterior position there and moving me into here, blocking blue from taking a second bonus, which they absolutely would have done. Now blue has to hit a stack. They guard against me. I would like to see them hit this red four or the purple three. And the purple three is great, because that puts purple in a single position. Yeah, great. All right. So my my move, you should have done that on the first turn, Black. Um, so my move here now is I have kill lines on purple and black, but they're still a little bit too big. So we have to wait for the cards. I also have to not die. Who can kill me? Red can probably kill me. Magenta can kill me. Black can't. Blue can. I'm going to die before the trades become meaningful. Okay, black removes an exterior of red and tries to take their bonus. Do we see troops move out of here? Move your six out. That's a, that's a good first step. I don't think I'm going to hold that plus five for long enough for it to matter. Okay, red hits blue five. No, red gets a take off their seven. Right. If they move their six, red is now in a single position. Ooh, have the Joker. Okay. I like that. I open up a third position because I really don't want to die. Thankfully, I have the Joker, so I'll have the 20 set, right? Cards in progressive, uh, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, and then up by 5, so 20, 25, and so on. I'm going to have to figure out who to kill with that 20. Looks like it's going to be Magenta. 
but we'll see. Blue sets and gets the six. Who do they hit? They hit black. Black's in trouble. Black might die as well. Where does this stack go? Back into their, their land? Okay, well, now I have lines to take this bonus. It's too late, is the thing. I mean, five troops of turns, nothing to sneeze at. Purple sets and gets the eight. And they guard their core territory. So purple's not setting themselves up to make kills. Right? You see all this material essentially locked inside of purple. Magenta sets and gets the ten. They're going to kill black? Yes. Black dies. Okay, so Magenta's going to get the 12. They, they do eliminate a lot of Black's material in order to make that kill. So they go a bit negative. Right, but they make it up from getting the 12. Magenta is the best player in this game. I think I have to knock them out of the bottom. Okay. And the weakest player, if I don't trade on three, I die. I think what I do is I trade on three and get second this game. I think Magenta kills everybody. I don't actually know how to stop that. Well, they have five cards. Maybe I can kill them and take the five cards? those guys. Alright, it worked. Holding three cards, do not have a set. The next set is 30. Tied up with blue. Three cards, 55 troops apiece. Mm, I'm back in this game. Yay. Bit of a risky kill, but I think it absolutely had to be done. Okay, who's the fish now? In still two positions, all of my opponents are in a single. And all these guys are playing it like it's fixed. Uh, Magenta was the only guy playing it like it was progressive. So that's why I killed him. Also because if I made it holding five cards, it was profitable for me to do so. <laughs> I get a bit lucky sometimes. Okay. 
I hit my 20. That's fine. Red breaks me from the bottom. Mm -hmm. No three troops for me. Try and open a feeble third position in the center of the board, holding four cards. I do have a set. I can kill anyone I want now, I think. Probably blue, if blue doesn't trade. Blue has four. If blue does trade, I can kill red. Looks like blue doesn't trade. Blue's going to be holding five cards. This stack isn't lined up to kill him, though. through too much of red. Purple opens me here, hopefully. Looks like they do. Thank you, purple. All right. So the set is 35. I have just enough material to take blue, I think. Red would like a second bonus. Red also holding five cards. I don't know if I can chain the kill into killing red too. We'll worry about that after. Okay. So, start here. Okay. Got him. Yeah, I can't kill red. So I have two 26 stacks on either side of the board. I just picked up a joker holding four cards. Red's going to set and get the 45, which means I get the 50. I can use the 50 probably to kill purple. Let's see how hard purple hits. Purple just wants a second bonus, or do they want to aggressively hit me? Looks like they just take a second bonus. Amazing. Yeah, purple is absolutely playing it like it's fixed. Let's see what red does. Red sets in. They probably hit one of my stacks here up at the top, I bet. This game is very interesting with three players. Ha! They kill purple. Amazing. They're gonna kill purple in set. Okay, so I'm in a I'm going to be in a 1v1 with No, they missed the kill, they run out of time. <laughs> oh, that's a GG. <laughs> Alright, I kill everybody, and Bob's your uncle. <clears throat> I 
you know what? I'm going to give red second. Or I'm going to give purple second. Actually, I can't, eh? I have to actually kill him. No, I, can, I can do it. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. We get 600 battle points for our trouble. Defeating two novices, a beginner, and two masters. Purple was a master, and Magenta was a master. And we rank up to 127. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do Fix Friday. Every Friday, I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can. And any support on my Patreon would be very grateful. Um, just to say, I have been experiencing a tremendous amount of recent success with um, the YouTube channel. A couple of videos getting pushed by the algorithm, which is absolutely incredible. I am so grateful. Um, I would love to be able to reach out to everyone and respond to everyone's comments, um, but it is just too overwhelming. It's It takes too much time, and I want to focus my attention on making the best video I can for you guys. So I'm sorry if I can't speak to everyone, but just know how grateful I am for all of you. Thank you all so much. This community means a ton to me, and I'm happy to give as much as I can because I've been getting even more so in return. Until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.